Bennett from blackberriesandcream.net. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we're going to um, take another look at some of the past paper pumpkin kits. We're going to be using this bag and these letters W-A-H-O-O -O, from the in the bag kit and we're going to be using the the stamps from the September 2013 paper pumpkin kit named Wahoo. Wahoo. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing, uh, first thing you should know is this is my third time with this particular project today, trying to get this this video made, and I am having some very bad luck with my brain. So hopefully this time it'll work out better. What I'm doing is um, using this sheet of paper from where we punched out the starbursts that were in the in the bag kit, and I'm using it as a stencil to create five um, places on the bag where I'm going to put the word Wahoo on dimensionals. And so I'm using Blackberry Bliss ink. And you, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin in the July kit, no, yes, in the July kit, you got this Blackberry Bliss ink pad. Now, when I'm doing this, I want to be careful to just ink the starburst. I don't want the ink to come uh, over into this space. So I put this little piece of uh, scrap paper under there so that if I do go over in that, that area where it's kind of close to the next hole, it won't get on the bag, it'll get on the scratch paper. Okay. Now I need five of these. So I just decide where I want them to be and ink that area in. When I ink up my sponge dauber, I like to do it on the edge somewhere because that's the part of the ink pad where that doesn't get a lot of use. Okay, hopefully I'm not on my road to attempt number four. <laughs> oh. Okay, so there's the five Blackberry Bliss um, starbursts where my word Wahoo is going to go. And I'm done with the Blackberry Bliss, I believe. Nope, not quite, but that's okay. I'm going to close it up for now. Okay, I'm using Mossy Meadow for this step. And what I want to do is just randomly stamp uh, the word Wahoo in Mossy Meadow. But I want it to look like it's behind these sunbursts. I don't want it to be on top. So I'm masking it with one of the white sunburst pieces that came in the in the bag kit. And I just want it to kind of be here and there. It doesn't have to have any particular pattern to it. Okay, so that's the basic design of the bag. The next thing I want to do is I want my 
letters to they're going to be centered in these uh, sunburst things so I want to ink up the edges in mossy meadow I'm almost done one more letter uh, to ink up and I just do that by flicking the um, sponge dauber that I have inked up with mossy meadow just on the edges of this little disc that has the letter pre-printed on it. Okay, so using the baked brown sugar ink we're going to stamp you did it right in the middle of this starburst piece. Go. And then on the back of one of these uh, Bermuda Bay circles that came in the in the bag kit we're going to use our dauber that has the Blackberry Bliss and we're going to create a Blackberry Bliss circle as a background for this sentiment. Okay, so I'm just going to ink it up and then just color this in. You can make it um, as solid or modeled or whatever um, you want. There we go. So then I'm going to turn this over and using my fast fuse I'm going to adhere this to the bag. Because I want a good, um, a good strong adhesive because this this bag will have some movement to it. Okay, so now I need some adhesive or dimensionals, I'm sorry. I'm going to use four dimensionals. Okay, so the basic bag is done and now all that's left is putting on the handles. And I've chosen to use this natural chevron ribbon and you need um, two 16 inch pieces. I want the knot this time to be on the outside of the bag so I'm going to thread the ribbon from the outside. And then the knot stays on the outside then I go back from the inside and tie the knot on the outside and repeat that one more time with the other hand. So there you have it bag number three today I really truly hope I don't have to do bag number four uh, if everything's working with this camera I'm in good shape. So there you have it uh, Paper Pumpkin Revisited in the bag from February of 2013 and Wahoo from September of 2013. If you like these kits and you want to uh, purchase either a complete past kit or a kit refill, go to the link in the description below this video to my website at blackberriesandcream.net if you are a current subscriber. This is this is a perk for current subscribers only. If you're not a current subscriber and you're interested in becoming one then use the link to um, my paper pumpkin and it's a very simple process to sign up right now by June 10th of 2015 is a perfect time to do this because you can get two months for the price of one they're having a 50% off sale. And then at the end of the two months, if you um, decide it's not for you, all you have to do is go back to your Paper Pumpkin 
page and unsubscribe. But I really don't think you're going to want to do that because this is a wonderful uh, product at a great value. So thanks for watching and happy stamping. Thank you.